Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. A Prayer for Pretenders by Meg Booker Read by Leah Martin Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Romans 12, 9 Oh, here they come. We're all guilty of it. The cringe and scramble to appear busy, on the move, or in a conversation before we're cornered into a longer conversation. There are people we actually avoid. It's the shocking truth. In a world we've been set down in to serve others, we sometimes don't actually want or like to, depending on the person and what we have going on in our lives at the moment. Some people are just draining, we'll say. The English dictionary definition of pretend is to cause or attempt to cause what is not so to seem so. Pretending runs right alongside avoidance. I bet it makes Christ cringe, the boundaries we put up around hurting people who border our lives. I'm just as guilty. Some days are such an emotional struggle, I don't understand where the capacity to reach out or do anything for anyone else is going to come from. Or classically, I'll find myself overwhelmed with my schedule and proclaim, I have too many yeses in my life. As if helping too many people is too pressing of an agenda. Oh, how the Lord must absolutely roll his eyes at me. The Life Application Bible notes, Most of us have learned how to be courteous to others, how to speak kindly, avoid hurting people's feelings, and appear to take an interest in them. But God has called us to a love that goes far beyond pretense and politeness. This love looks like inconvenience. It costs us time, money, and effort. It's more than putting someone on a prayer list. We're called to care deeply and create disciples. Oof, that takes time. Thankfully, the author of our minutes has the ability to stretch our capacity to offer an insurmountable amount of love and good. Let's pray. Father, stretch our minutes and lengthen our patience. Show us how to genuinely love the people you've placed in our lives, Lord. Let us not be too busy to connect with our neighbors and Have those lengthy conversations while our ice cream melts in the car. Father, we do have time for people. Our time is your time. You're the author of our days, and you know the number of them. Your plan for our lives includes loving others. There's no greater task or agenda than to really love them. Show us what it means, Father, to hold tight to what's good. We know we need boundaries in our lives, and We realize we can't say yes to all the things we want to do or that people want us to do, but the plans you have for us, Lord, make time for them. So help us to understand what we're adding to our days, which is not ordained by you, so that we're free to take all the time we need to love the people you put in our paths daily. God, you are love. You love us so much. You gave your one and only Son, Christ Jesus, so we wouldn't be bound to the limits of this world. In Christ, your Holy Spirit lives in us, directing us daily to who needs us to extend your love to them. Heighten our sense of the Holy Spirit and sharpen our immediate obedience to follow this lead. Bless our lives to shine with the light and love of Jesus, Father. In his mighty name we pray. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, 
visit us at lifeaudio.com.